Hello everyone, welcome to Chemazon Complete Chemistry. So in today's video, we are going to solve question 52 of the NEET 2023 from the chemistry section. So this is based on the reaction of diazonium salt, that is benzene diazonium chloride. So this is which compound? This is benzene diazo. Diazo means two nitrogen group. This is diazonium group. Okay, diazonium chloride. Okay, and there are three reagents that are given and what we have to do is we have to identify the product. So let us start with the drawing the structure of benzene diazonium chloride. Benzene, what, what is the meaning of N2? Nitrogen is attached to another nitrogen by a triple bond. Nitrogen is forming four bonds. But nitrogen has how many, how many valence electrons? It has four valence, it has five valence electrons. So here it has only four valence electrons. So it will get a positive charge and the counter ion is Cl minus. This is what, what is the name of this compound? Benzene diazonium. Diazo means, azo means nitrogen. Diazo means two nitrogen. Diazonium fluoride. Cl minus is fluoride. Okay, so first reagent that we are adding is Cu2Br2. Okay, this is cuprous bromide. Okay, copper, it is also called as copper 1 bromine. So, from this, what we will get? We will get our nucleophile. What is a nucleophile? Br minus. Now, Br minus will attack the carbon attached to this nitrogen group. Now, N2 is a very good leaving group. As we know, nitrogen gas will go away as a good leaving group. This is what N2 gas, which is present in atmosphere. Okay, so this will go away as a good leaving group. And what we will get is, we will get bromobenzene. This is the first intermediate product, bromobenzene. Okay, and alkyl halide we know when it reacts with magnesium in presence of dry ether. What is dry ether? It is a solvent. Solvent means it is a compound used to dissolve this bromobenzene. Okay, this will react with magnesium. What we will get is, we will get Grignard reagent. Okay, magnesium is inserted between this CBr bond. It is inserted between this CBr bond and what do we get is, we get magnesium, benzene, magnesium, bromide. This is what RMGX. R is what benzene here. So, this is what, this is Grignard reagent. This step is called as formation of Grignard reagent. Now, Grignard reagent, it generally acts, there are two roles of a Grignard reagent. Okay, either it can act as a nucleophile. Okay, either it can act as a nucleophile. We know in RMGX, magnesium is an electropositive atom. It has plus 2 charge. So, X is halogen is minus and R has a negative charge. That means here benzene has a negative charge like this, pH minus. pH means benzene ring. So, this can act as a nucleophile. Nucleophile means it can attack an electron deficient species like aldehyde or ketone to form alcohol. Okay, so it will attack like this. We can get secondary or tertiary, tertiary alcohol. So, this was Grignard reagent acting as a nucleophile. Another, another way is Grignard reagent can also act as a base. What is the role of a base? Base is going to accept proton. Okay, acid what it does? It donates H plus ion. And base, what it does, it acid donates H plus ion and base will accept proton. So, what will happen here? We are adding a protic solvent. Protic solvent means solvent that can donate H plus ion. So, here this is minus pH minus and MgBr plus like this. So, this will abstract this proton and OH minus will go away as a good leaving group. So, what we will get is we will get benzene. And here there is hydrogen. This is which compound? This is benzene. And the byproduct is Mg, Br, and OH. Okay, so this is the final product that is benzene. So what we did first step was substitution reaction. Why substitution occurred? Because N2 is a very good living group. Nitrogen gas is a very good living group. And then what we formed is an alkyl halide Rx. Okay, alkyl halide is what? It is going to react with magnesium in presence of dry ether as a solvent 
to form Grignard reagent, RMJ. And then we saw Grignard reagent, it has two roles. Either it can act as a nucleophile or it can act as a base. Here it is acting as a base. It abstracts the acidic proton from hydrogen, uh, hydrogen from water molecule and what it forms is benzene ring. So what is the correct answer? The correct answer is option 3. I hope you have understood the solution. Thank you.